everyone welcome back to the channel and a welcome back to the east yorkshire coast and also i'm still in flamborough but i'm at the gorgeous north landing now look at the waves all that rocky bit down there happy days um sorry the sun has come out now so we had all that torrential snow this morning now the sun's come out it's blimmin bright i tell you now i have to admit i did expect to see a few more people down here there is literally one set of footprints going down and one set going back so i'm guessing it'd be the same person and now there is mine as well I've tried to stick as close to the old, uh, it's the old lifeboat house. It's now a burger and grill bar. But it's still got the old, uh, I'll call it a jetty for want of a better phrase. Now, do you know what? I ain't got a clue what I'm doing down here. Um, or I didn't when I came down here. I thought, I know this place. I used to love coming here as a kid. Um, it's full of caves and rock pools and nooks and crannies in the cliffs and yeah fascinating when you're like eight or nine not so much when you're a teenager but then when you become an adult and you take up landscape photography it becomes fascinating again Nah, don't get me wrong, I'm joking. Um, I'm sure, you know, people of every age loves places like this. So, now I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I thought maybe I'll come down here and find some rock pools, some cool little foreground interest, and, you know, really try and turn my hand at this coastal photography lark. And now seeing these waves. There are some impressive waves out there. The problem is, because I've got the Sony, oh, sorry, bright sunshine, I apologise if that happens, I'll switch hands to try and uh, negate some of that. And I've got to watch my foot because, you know, lots of rocks and stuff. Um, so if it's a bit all over the place, I apologise. Do you know what, actually, I'm just going to stop walking for a second. Now... I'm going to try and find somewhere, that's what I was saying, um, because I've got the Sony and I don't have a 70-200 for the Sony, that would be ideal for this, and I left the 105 macro in the car because I didn't plan on doing any macro stuff down here, that would have at least given me a bit of extra reach, focus is slow on it but I could have manually focused, well that's frustrating, so I'm going to have to try and find somewhere where I can reach the 50 mil, uh, reach with the 50 mil, sorry. Man, I'm actually really just put, sorry, the wind's just come out. Oh, hands are cold now. Um, Yeah, sorry, the wind's just come out, and if it's starting to go down the mic, I do apologise. I actually hope you can hear me as well with my uh, face buff on, because my face is frozen. Or it was when I left the car. It is a little bit more sheltered down here, but obviously the closer I'm getting to the, to the water, the colder it's getting, hence chilly hands. So, yeah, I'm going to go see if I can find somewhere that will actually make the most of these waves. So, let's crack on. Oh, heck.
a little bit manic there. I may have misread the time. Um, the tide's actually on its way in. I thought it was going to be out for six o'clock. And I was like, that water seems to be getting a bit close to me. Mm. Tide was on its way in. So I literally just had to run around grabbing a couple of long exposure shots that I actually quite liked. Um, some compositions that I'd seen. I had to sack off the waves. I started taking them and I was like, those waves weren't breaking on those rocks in front of me a minute ago. Turned around and that's when I realized that it was uh, on its way in. Quick bit of checking on the old uh, tide timetable. <laughs> Thank God for that, else I was actually close to getting cut off. Not badly, I would have been able to wait through it, but yeah. I have got yeah a bit of a soggy foot as well i was just taking one of those long exposures wave came over came round and swept at the back and i didn't realize i didn't have a chance to so i'm going to hunt down some more compositions in a minute the problem i'm having is with the long exposures um the wind is so strong it's actually shaking the camera um so as a result i think it's just started snowing again so as a result because they're long exposures, they're not sharp. Um, so I've had to take multiple ones of that whilst also being conscientious of the fact that the tide was coming in. <sighs> Mental. However, I saw this when I was walking over to do the, um, the waves. You've got this beautiful cave in here. Now, I've got the tripod set up. It's quite low and actually looking back because I don't know if you can see, but it actually does level up. It's quite high as well these lovely colorings on either side of the rocks i'm guessing that's where the tide actually probably comes in when it's at its highest like in winter and stuff um because it's obviously turned green now yeah i'm gonna give this a go now what i'm probably gonna have to do is i'm probably gonna have to do a three bracket shot because obviously very dark very dark and this is quite bright because well when the sun was out it was quite bright so yeah, I'm going to give this another whirl. I've got it all set up, and I did do one quick test shot to see if I like the composition 100% and see what the exposure was like. Let's see if this came out all right. I think that was actually a successful trip and not entirely sure how it turned into a video of long exposures because that genuinely wasn't my intention um yeah my mic is still there that's fine um yeah it doesn't help when i love long exposure photography um when the conditions are like this great but the wind was just causing me no end of problems because of the height. I think there's a seal watching me right now. Yes, there is. I don't know if you'll be able to see him. Excuse the sun. He's just over here. Cute little lad. Um, yeah, that's the thing. I love long exposure photography. Sound like something was falling down there as well. Wow, it's all going off here. It's all going off. Um, yeah, I love long exposure photography and it's, it's something I really enjoy doing as well. But when the wind is like this and I was having to be quite high up on the tripod, it causes the vibrations, which then results in, um, sorry, I'm just looking at that seal. Yeah, it then results in, um, camera shake. And of course the problem is, 
and you get unsharp images so yeah I need to do more but you know being at the coast it's kind of helpful really isn't it doing long exposure work tell you what would be good is if I could actually get a ND filter for my 12 to 24. Now I have my eye on something, so watch this space. It may happen, it may not. Because they are rather expensive. But I might have an idea, might have an option. But by the by. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm gonna sign out now. It's quite a short vlog, to be honest with you. Because it all got a bit manic. And it was a little bit unplanned as well, to be fair. Oh well, it's all good fun. So yeah, obviously if you have liked my little manic video, give us the old uh, thumbs up. Drop some subscribes from the bottom as well for the rest of this tour. And obviously everything else that we're going to be doing on this channel. And the only thing left for me to say is, this is my cow. Take care. Be safe everyone. Peace. Mm -hmm.